Usually it's really beautiful up there in the mountains at this time of the year. Um, yeah, it really is like this white desert and you can walk everywhere. And yeah, my usual plan was actually to show you that. But um, it has been just super intense up there. And yeah, it definitely wasn't possible to do anything <laughs> in this weather. Um, so yeah, I, I had to turn back. But yeah, it has been quite silent on all of my social media platforms lately and that has yeah, many different reasons. The first reason is that just a lot of different things have been going on. We have been traveling a bit, we have been working a lot and the second reason is that I just have been going through quite... Um, a deep emotional process lately. Uh, it has been a really transformational time and I'm not sure, I have heard that from a lot of people actually, so I'm not sure if that is a collective thing that is going on right now. For me it has been really emotional and really transformative lately. But yeah, there's a lot of different things I want to talk with you about, a lot of different things I want to update you about. We have been investigating a little bit on going our farm dream and I have filmed a little bit here and then, but it's all super chaotic. So I thought I would just start telling you ongoing from where my last vlog ended. So after the sun has returned to our house in the middle of February, also this long episode of freezing temperatures finally came to an end and some of the snow melted and it already felt a little bit like spring in the air, which is very early actually for this part of Norway. But even though we actually spend most of this time inside working on the launch for our online shop, Joachim painted non-stop and I finally realized the film about his story as an artist. It was so much work and then all the preparations for the launch came on top so we really found ourselves in rush of productivity working into the night and really firing up all the creativity we had and it was also a lot of fun. Jemand dein Bett weggeräumt. <lacht> das ist eine Frechheit. Aufpassen, dass es nicht weiter weggeht. Ja. <lacht> oh. War das nicht eine tolle Idee? <laughs> we are just on our way for a little photo shoot. Oh, oh Ivy. Ivy! So, as I said, we wanted to take some pictures of the lanterns. 
And of course we forgot um, candles and matchsticks, which are a little bit necessary for this plan. So um, Joachim is just on his way back to fetch some and Ivy and I are sitting here and waiting for him to return. Na, wer ist denn das, Ivy? Ja, ich habe auch gesehen. There you are. You just ran the whole way, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> and I did get skis. Just that this, I had to take them off here. Ah, yes. Because it's too steep and too mm -hmm. slippery. Mm -hmm. All right, we should probably go. Yes. It's now quarter past four in the morning. And the video is finally ready to be rendered. Oh, finally. <laughs> I'm still a little bit tired after all my night shifts with the video, but uh, yeah, today is actually a really exciting day. Or yesterday was also an exciting day because yesterday we launched all the new art pieces and I also published the film about Joachim which was very exciting and um, so much fun to have this premiere and to chat with you and um, yeah it was just really wonderful to read all your comments this morning and to um, yeah to know that you were also inspired by his story and I guess today or probably the next couple of days I will spend in our packing room and pack all the orders and um, yeah. This shop opening was such a success. We are so happy and so grateful how everything turned out. And yeah, now all the different art pieces are sent out into the world. And yeah, we just, we just couldn't be more happy and more grateful. But after this really intense working period, I definitely started to circle around myself a little bit too much and we both really felt that we just had to get out for some time and I actually also started to get really impatient about our farm project. I know that these kind of things can take a lot of time but for me it's just important that I have the feeling that things are moving forward and things are happening and that yeah we're moving into the right direction. So we decided to just give this project a go. We searched the whole internet, we made a lot of phone calls and eventually we decided to just pack our things and drive up north into the area where we would like to have our farm. We gehen nicht auf Spaziergang. Wir machen Ausflug. But first we made another stop. When you drive up to Röhrös from our place, you also drive through Rondane National Park, which is where Dream Valley is located, the farm where Joachim and I have met, the farm where I have lived for quite a long time, and also the farm from our friend Tina, who left this earthly world last autumn. And I haven't been there since then. I didn't want to and I also felt that I couldn't. I just couldn't imagine this place without her. But now, after half a year, Joachim and I felt ready for a visit. I 
was a little bit worried and also a little bit afraid to go up there, but it actually turned out to be completely different than I expected. The place really felt at peace in a way. There was no heaviness, no pain, no sadness. And also Tina was way less present there than I thought. She was very present, but in her lightest and softest version. It felt like she was just watching over everything that she has brought into life in a very kind and loving way. And that was so good to experience. And yeah, Dream Valley is free and ready to be slowly transformed into something new. And that will happen by our friend Vivienne from Switzerland. She also was a friend from Tina and she has taken over the place and the horses. So the horses can also stay there. And I just couldn't have imagined anything better like this. Um, I'm sure Vivienne will turn the place into something Tina would have loved and um, yeah, it really feels like it's, it's meant to be that way and she's such a wonderful person and yeah, it was really nice to spend some days with her and the horses in Dream Valley and also yeah, let go of this place the way I knew it and yeah, now it's ready for something new and that feels really good. As you can see right now I'm not at home I'm or we are in the area of Röros where we have rented this sweet little cabin here for a few days because we are currently investigating a little bit ongoing our farm dream we have been in contact with some people from the local district <coughs> Uh, yeah, to see if they could maybe help us out and they turned out to be really helpful and really engaged which uh, yeah, is definitely wonderful so we had just a short meeting today and yeah we will just see how, how everything will develop. Um, it's so difficult to find a farm here in Norway it's, even though so many farms are actually empty um, most of the people don't want to sell their farms because they have just yeah, um, a lot of memories to this place or they are just have been in the family for over 100 years and of course that is wonderful but um, a lot of the farms are just falling apart and nobody wants to sell them so it's a huge problem and it's, it's actually really difficult to find a nice place. So it has been quite a process so far also uh, emotionally because um, yeah, it's just so much back and forth and suddenly you're so hopeful and then I almost felt a little bit devastated because I felt like there's no way we can just continue, like we just have to wait or something. Also besides of that, I actually have been in a really intense emotional time lately. I feel like I have really, I'm really coming closer to the cause of all my emotional misery of the last 10 years um, and that is really yeah that can also be really heavy and really dark to discover these places inside yourself um, yeah sometimes I'm just uh, a little bit exhausted but I guess that's also okay and um, 
yeah. Mm. But yeah, I guess that is what has been going on lately. Um, we are just making ourselves a cozy evening here and then we are going home tomorrow. The first thing that happened when we came home was that I got sick for two weeks. I guess that I have needed that. My body was really telling me to slow down and it was definitely really important for me to take this time and to look at these inner shadows of mine and to go, to go through this. Um, I think it's in general so important that we look at these dark feelings inside of ourselves and not suppress it and yeah bring light into this darkness there had really been some healing for me lately and i feel very good and very light and very strong right now again and also very hopeful um, regarding our farm project it might sound not even so spectacular but for me it somehow has made a huge shift I told you about this farm that we have found last summer that we have fallen so much in love with. We have contacted the owner and yeah, you can say that we got a very clear no. <laughs> he definitely doesn't want to sell this farm. So of course in the beginning that was quite sad and we have searched this whole area last summer and we know that there isn't a better farm than this one. and. Um, I think it's so interesting because I have actually observed this many times with any kind of dream or something, yeah, something that you want to go for, that in the moment where it starts to feel really stuck and like this sticky kind of feeling and it feels so heavy and almost like you don't want to continue. And I'm not talking about struggles because you will always have struggles on the way but I'm really talking about this deep sticky feeling like this devastating feeling this yeah this feeling that makes you want to stop and in my experience this feeling is always a sign that you're on the wrong path that you have maybe to adapt your approach and that was exactly how it was in our case. We realized that we have been so stuck with this idea that it has to be this particular area that we, yeah, we really got stuck with this idea. And once we let go of this idea, we suddenly discovered a whole new area, an area that we haven't even considered yet. It's south from Röhros. It's, it's, it's even a better area. It's so big. It's endless forest. It's warmer. It's so much more space. It's so much more empty farms in this area. And suddenly everything just felt so much lighter and so much more hope came. And yeah, so this summer we will pack our van again and we'll go farm searching again. And I can't wait uh, to take you along on this journey and to discover new places and find new farms and maybe also our farm. <laughs> <laughs>